Well, folks, it is time that you hide your kids, hide your wives, and uh, definitely lock yourselves in the basement. Keep your puppers on a leash. Faster your seed belts because this story is currently being talked about right now and this story is so big that videos were apparently getting deleted. Oh, shit. Oh, it is shit. claimed and Google was not showing results but right now they are showing results of it because it's a little bit old and now we have the video of that sad event because you might you probably have heard about what happened in Peru right where a couple of villagers uh, saw them ala mouse the aliens and they said that they saw the aliens but then uh, the US I believe the government the US government got involved and that's when everybody was like damn something is really going on but then the trail went cold and official response was that it was just like a couple of thieves on jetpacks trying to steal gold Bruh. that happened and you're probably aware of that story but then there was another one of these that was humongous but never saw the light of day and i saw that video and i was like bro i gotta share this with you guys i've seen a little bit of it uh shout out to chaos mogul like this video share this video and uh check this out welcome back space enthusiasts today we're checking out a ufo attack the battle of magia's brazil in 2020 Magia's Brazil went viral on social media and it started trending everywhere as citizens began posting these UFO sightings online. Holy. Orbs, flashes, intricate designs in the sky, UFOs were all over Magia's Brazil. There were even videos of blue, red and yellow lights making triangular formations. The UFO community was a buzz. It's wild. I never really heard of the story and it happened in 2020. I did a Google search right after this. Uh, uh, you know what I mean? I wanted to do a little bit of research before I filmed the video and I was like, man, that is absolutely wild that this story was, this story is bonkers and uh, nobody really talked about it. it it's, uh, it's absolutely wild, man. Holy crap, man. All over Twitter and Reddit, there was so much excitement for this mass sighting until the media scrub. the social Yay. media scrub twitter and reddit began deleting videos of maya's ufo as they appeared with the just trending hashtags pulling up empty search results mm. this was a smoking gun for the ufo community and the scrutiny began citizens of maya's began sharing their videos as often as possible to and as more many than one person, platforms right? as possible so that people could save their Damn. videos and spread the word yo holy crap yo let me fire some rounds out here bro this is uh, not advice okay if you see a ufo do not shoot majas brazil was under attack Damn. Over the next few days, witnesses began coming forward and recounting the events, some with video evidence. According to several witnesses, the attack began at the Imbed Weapon Factory, yeah. where UFOs apparently began hovering and stood there for a few days in what some feel was an attempt to- Okay, I don't understand. Like, why were they just hovering over, bro? Like, were you there just to drop, like, a chicken nugget supply? Come on, man. Like... <laughs> Like, don't you have stuff to do in like other pla on other planets? Uh, it wasn't it was an attempt to hamper or shut down uh, nuclear weapons? To hamper or shut down nuclear weapons. Citizens of Mayas began hearing loud explosions and gunshots from the area, with one video allegedly oh. showing witnesses watch as an extraterrestrial gets killed. Oh shit! Oh, shit. No way! Nah, 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 nah! There is no way that's real because if that's real, bro, this video won't even be on YouTube, bro. They would take it down immediately. Though. <laughs> Passer by head. Three kids uh, walking in forest and got startled by by the firing. Okay, yeah, yeah. So a lot of people. Okay, so the case is definitely okay. So something definitely happened. Okay, that's the uh, way we get it, right? A lot of people just uh, uh, recorded, shared their experience. But is the UFO alien story real? Because I feel like that every time something happens, everybody's like, lock yourselves in the basement. The Martians are here. They're killing the... They're killing the... What? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! Oh, shit!
So that's what this person literally said just casually. They are killing the ET. They are destroying the evidence. Man, so... If you understand what she was saying, put it in the in the comments. So, like, she just casually dropped this line. Oh my god. So something is going on then. Okay, uh, entire town in panic. They saw, did you hear? The alleged happening? that in the retaliating attack from the UFO on the fact. I mean, like, if you see stuff like that in the sky, I, I, I guess you're gonna call them. What are you gonna call them? You're not gonna call them Elon Musk Starlink, right? You're gonna call them the Elamos, I guess. One human worker was killed, which prompted the U.S. government to intervene and use an energy weapon to shoot down the UFOs in the area. It, then it's probably real. I, I, I'm sorry. Now I'm, I'm, I'm believing it. I know Mama always said that. Do not believe everything you hear, but I'm believing it. I'm uh, sorry, Mama. I'm believing this one, okay? You're telling me the U.S. government stepped in? Nah, she, man, that's real. And obviously, in that like the Peru story, the U.S. government also stepped in, but they officially said that it was just like a couple of jetpackers or thieves on jetpackers. Bruh. What do you believe that story? One if you do, two if you don't believe that story. I, I'm very, very curious to you know what you think. But in this one, sheesh, man, I'm seeing this crap. I'm seeing the heat coming from the monitor. It's hitting my eyes. It's hitting my face. And I'm seeing this crap. And there is no way. Uh-uh. There is no way. <laughs> I'm, I'm not believing this, man. There's no way I'm not believing this. So, Major Brazil. Bro, no. Okay. What the hell? It is alleged that there were several ET bodies, at least one dead and one captured. When oh diving deeper into the mystery and trying to get in touch with the original sources. I'm watching this for the first time, by the way, and I skimmed through the video right before and I didn't get to see this. Uh, but I'm watching this for the first time. No way this is real. How, how did this not made headlines? Because I, I seriously, like, I was around 2020, I can tell you that. I, I did not hear about the story. I was still, uh, I was still fascinated by this uh, uh, UFO and aliens topic that back then too. Just like how I am right now. You know, uh, I, why? How, uh, did you hear the story back then or did you not? Paranormal investigators discovered that these witnesses were gone. Their accounts, their videos, their proof deleted Damn. the only thing that remained were these videos several people screen recorded and some screenshots of conversations with these witnesses ela como se ela viesse como ela viesse como ela viesse de lá do outro lado meu deus alex tem um aqui embaixo tem um vermelho agora não é balão o caramba o balão não anda naquela velocidade não that blood loud não Vermelho, tá conseguindo ver vermelho? Caralho, mano, eu tô arrepiado. Aqui, aquilo ali não é balão, não. Caralho, meu, alguém filma essa porra, mano. Ok, if you understand what they're saying, definitely put it in the comments, because I don't know. A coloração é vermelha. Não é balão, não. Ah, meu Deus do céu. Gente, me fala o que porra é essa. Yeah, that looks like a triangle shape, huh? Que porra é essa se mexendo ali? This is insane, man. This is, I would say this is way more insane that, than Las Vegas uh, situation. Obviously, the Miami Mall, I do believe something happened and they still haven't released any like CCTV footage camera uh, and body cam footage, uh, police dash cam footage. They have released none of that. I do believe something happened there, but I don't believe the aliens showed up in Miami. That That's my opinion. I surely could be wrong, okay? If you believe that, I respect it, okay? But, but, uh, but I personally don't. But this one is even bigger than that. It's bigger than the Peru situation too. Gente, o que que tá acontecendo, cara? Man. I'm really intrigued to do more research on this one. And we got a lot more coming up too.
definitely like and share guys uh i might if you guys want to see part two of this uh, I'll, I'll i'll try I'll try and do more research and uh if i can find something else i'll uh make a part two all right that is if you if you want to see man that's insane though God. I want to give it a benefit of the doubt because right now I'm, I'm willing to believe it, but what if it's like another fake story, right? Like uh, we we gotta come from both sides here, so do not believe everything you see. But it's very very tempting and it's very convincing though. And it disappeared. We even have a screen recording of the alleged crashed UFO. No way. It seems to be a metallic sphere. Maybe it's one of the. Uh, football field inside type ufos very shiny uh, those of you that do not know apparently one of the whistleblower came forward and said that the the U there was a ufo that was like 40 feet tall or, or long i'm not sure but he said 40 feet ufo that's humongous that's big right let's agree 40 feet is big okay you can already picture a six feet tall human and 40 feet that's big but he says uh, but he says that when you go inside it's the size of the football field uh, 40 feet, that's no damn football field, okay? Football field is bigger than that, okay? So, the UFO appears small on the outside, but big on the inside. Uh, that's what he said, so this is the, the, the point he's trying to make here. Um, very interesting. Some outlets were able to catch up with Arthur, a member of a ufologist group, the Hill Watchers. Here's what he had to say. We're here exactly to explain everything that is being said on social media regarding this apparently crash of some kind of object that came from the skies. I wouldn't say a flying saucer, oh, but wow. something that apparently crashed in the region. However, we assume that if there was a crash here, it was it was probably of the interest of the army to inform us about the situation to avoid all of these rumors according to our experience and the opinions of everyone what do you think happened here you already listened to a witness so what's your opinion about what happened here and he actually then flips the question on the the battle of majes brazil was being covered up Soon after the event, the military in Brazil began closing the area off and official press began to claim that nothing strange had gone by. Nothing strange happened at all and that they had not received any reports of any paranormal or strange activity in the area. It seems that what happens in Majes stays in Majes. <laughs> For now at least, all we get is these remnants of evidence and a new story in the UFO myth. This is very, very intriguing. And this is another one of the stories where you're going to see the actual alien being. Click on this video on the screen because this this video is very, very convincing and very intriguing. Because uh, I feel like that this uh, is one of those videos that shows uh, potentially a real one.